Hey there guys, my name's Mikey. Let's take a look at the trailer for Elden Ring. Peggy 16. I love Sekido. I'm so good at it. Oh, wait, George R. R. Martin. The tarnished will soon return. Guided by grace, once lost. Uh, Berserk? The Age of Fantasia? The golden Order is broken to its core. Coming out in Jan Jan. Yo, guys. So this, yo, this, <laughs> this is my autoplay. YouTube knows what I like. <laughs> this is the final boss of Elden Ring. Sorry, guys. You've just seen my leaked Elden Ring final boss footage. I do apologize for that. Yo, so let's pop back. So, guys, anyway, that looks fantastic. Um, obviously, there's some heavy berserk stuff. So let's kind of have a quick look in order. Guys, what do you think, by the way? Because this kind of looks like Dark Souls 4, except I love the fact that there's a horse riding mechanic. I love the fact older uh, George Romeo and Romeo is involved. Will soon return. The tarnished will soon return. Chosen one, flame of ember. It's all appropriately miserable, Guided but um, by grace. obviously <clears throat> one of the major events that happens in the Berserk manga is that something, something, no spoilers, something, something, a giant tree appears in the middle of the world and spreads a nature-defying kind of magic that changes the very landscape of reality and starts berserk into something called the Fantasia Arc. Once lost. But I think they know what they're doing. I think they've taken very much influence. What I also like is that although it's got this kind of Soulsborne miserable vibe to it, all of the shapes are a bit more larger and they feel a bit softer, if that makes any kind of sense. But why is there kind of like an invisible tower going on up this side? That's fascinating. But it feels like a bit softer and a bit nicer to inhabit. The Golden Order is broken to its core. All the tarnished to similar tolos. Yo, and I love this shot. To its core. Look, because this is an active shot. The flames are going. 
but all the people are frozen. And I know they're kind of like frozen in misery, be misery of some sort, but do you guys ever hear that story about a certain kind of virus or like plague that went round uh, and it was recorded maybe okay. in France and England and this is like in the dark ages? But there was some kind of virus that made people dance until they died? Like it fucked with your nervous system or something. And there were records of an entire town started dancing. And the more people that hung around, the more people started dancing. And they stopped communicating. And they danced until they dropped dead. The dancing plague. So it kind of reminds me of a frozen version of that. Which in turn reminds me, if you guys watched Annihilation? In Annihilation, there's these bits where people kind of learn to accept merging with the land and they become these frozen human forms in plant life and shit. Annihilation is a fantastic movie. I love all this and I just love that it's just a touch warmer than the usual misery of Dark Souls. It makes me want to try it more. Oh, your horse is magic! Oh, magic horse! It feels a bit like Zelda. Uh, does this sound a bit crazy? Because it, it, it's got a real Zelda open world feeling. And even these rocks and all these shapes and all this background soft blur, it all feels a bit softer and a bit more shapely. Mmm. It was called Disco Fever. <laughs> Kid Luden, sounds good. He, he did all right there, he did all right. The colors are definitely more uh, cheerful than Sekiro. Breath of the Dark Souls, that is what we're looking at. I like it. Like, even that shot reminds me of when you play those Guys, there is a Dark Souls-esque puzzle game that's really low poly. Does anybody know what I'm talking about? It came out about two and a half, maybe three years ago. It's a very, I'm assuming, kind of indie thing where you're a kind of Souls-ish kind of hack and slash warrior. But like, it's got a very minimal amount of surfaces and stuff. Yo, Artsy, have a bloody good one. Thank you very much for hanging out. Yo, so this feels like a HR Geiger kind of thing. A Giga? Not enough corks. Two vaginas for the eyes, yes. Okay, Giga, thank you very much. This feels like it's a shot from like Prometheus or Alien Paradise or something. Very horrific and weird. And also, something has just made sense. Now, we're watching this trailer a couple days after it's come out. I've never seen this before. Um, one thing I have seen is a load of people on Twitter falling in love with a pot with arms. Now I finally understand what they meant. In search of the Elden Ring. Now, they also look a lot more like Resident Evil bosses. Like the final Udok Udos kind of vibe. Now, most importantly, where's the Howling Boy? Also, ladies, extend my lightsaber. He's got Sasuke's ability. And they will die. In an unending curse. He looks like a near... Oh, mate, that's so good. That feels like Berserk, but it looks incredible. I love that. I love whatever that is. We will check that out. Also, it looks like you can summon ghosts. This looks like artwork. That shot right there is a piece of art. Well, playing as a lord. Oh, yes. Oh, more hands. He's very grabby. So, um, this looks fantastic. Yeah, the Berserker armor. This looks absolutely fantastic. Is this a PlayStation 5 exclusive? Am I ever going to get to play this? God, bloody stock issues. <laughs> yeah, it looks absolutely fantastic. Your Geiger is the best impression you do. Thank you very much for noticing. I'm very good. This looks cool, but I think I'd be into it if the main character had a face and personality. I think it's one of those impose yourself on his character vibes. Yeah, I'm okay with that, to be fair, though. I don't mind the dark, mysterious type, because it looks like you can clothe him, outfit him, and change his weapons and stat types to your own gameplay style. Oh God, I hope they don't have a broken sword in this game. Otherwise, people are going to be on fucking Twitch playing this for a million years. Hmm. 
I love the big royal boys. The cardinals. <clears throat> yeah, this looks wild and incredible. I love how, okay, PS5, PS4, Xbox. You're not going to want to play that on a PS4, are you? You're going to want to play that on a PS5 at like 2K 60 FPS. Yo, Haz, how you doing, dude? Haz, we haven't seen this trailer before. So guys, that is a great shout. I will very much be following that game with some extreme interest. And I'll see you next time. Take care.